welcome to this video tutorial on C. Well, actually, it's not really a, a tutorial, it's more of an overview of how the program works. And in the next 20 seconds, I'm going to blow your socks off with just how really cool this program is. I've chosen some keywords. I'm going to choose uh, a couple of websites here. Facebook, MySpace, Twitter. The advanced options I'm going to leave as default uh, for now. And I will have follow-up tutorials with respect to what all this means. But for now, let's just start an extraction. I'll call this test. And I'm going to choose status results oriented mode. And what that mode does is it visually shows you the email addresses as they're being extracted. Now, the program is started, and it revolves around kind of four things. There's a page number, a keyword, a website, search criteria. You don't actually have to choose any keywords. You can just scrape a website for emails. Search criteria, for lack of a better term, is an SMT provider, SMTP provider, or a intelligent means of deriving an email address. So right now it's focused on Gmail, at gmail.com. It's grabbing at gmail.com email addresses. Um, that's just from the default list. You can choose your own. You can choose Hushmail. Hot, well, it's Hotmail right now. Um, and also something called general interest, or what I like to call mom and pop, which are not major SMTP providers, so we use things like my email address is email me at an intelligent way of trying to derive an email address from a web page where somebody might post their email. Somebody might post my email address is followed by their email address. And you'll see shortly just how effective it is. This program has got three unique qualities that make it, in my opinion, superior to any email extractor that exists on the market today. The first thing is the speed. Social email extractor flies. Since I've been on here, we've got 2,000 email addresses. We're still on our first keyword, our first website. Um, quality. This program is designed to cross-reference specific tags, HTML tags, I in terms of getting a, a, a niche. There's a relevance with the keyword and the website with respect to the email that is being scraped. The third factor is quantity. Originally, this program was designed to extract one million email addresses in a session. I don't know of any program th throughout the history of email extractors that was able to do that. I reduced that to 500,000 just because users were saying, well, I can't open these files. It's just, they're just huge. They're just they're crazily huge files. I mean, when you're opening up literally a, a million lines in a text file, it's, it, it's going to slow down your system. So, that's the only reason why I uh, reduced it to 500k, and even that is, that's a, that's a, that's a big page. Uh, if you're an experienced user of C and you're watching this, I don't recommend you use SRO, Status Results Orientated Mode, because it does echo out a lot of all these emails on the right here. You're going to want to use Optimization Mode. This mode is only intended for lists of up to 100k, and... I've decided to keep it because the original release of the program had a an interface like this where you could see the emails being extracted. You could see, you could see the entire process basically with this mode. So it's it's kind of cool, and I, I've kept it. Um, with Social Email Extractor, there's there's some things I'll talk briefly about the advanced options in terms of uh, the search criteria. It is able to decipher, you know, John underscore at, but not even the at symbol, it could be at, underscore hot, but it, it can take variations of, of of users intentionally trying to hide email addresses within pages, uh, within blogs, within Facebook, within whatever, and it's smart enough to 
decipher that it's an email and then convert it to an email address for you. If you want to go to the guide and look at search criteria, there's more intelligent search criteria, rather, because that's what it is. There's more information on that. So, so here we are in. I'm not too sure how much time we're in so far, but we've already got 6,000 emails, which is pretty nice. This, uh, this program is about a year and a half old. It's more powerful than ever. There's a few different, there's a lot of different VPS servers that it connects to. There's a 302 uh, access here through that you might see pop up once in a while, but that doesn't affect the extraction process, as you can see. It's pretty robust in terms of if the, the letting, it, letting it do its thing. I mean, you could fill up some keywords, fill up some websites, let it run overnight, and wake up to, you know, 100k emails. So here, my email is, and you can see it's generating a nice list of of emails based on that. Some are hot mail, some are some are mom and pop. There's one that's a mom and pop right there. See, it, when I say mom and pop, it's not a major SMTP provider. Um, one thing I'll mention too is, social email extractor can focus on different countries. Now you. Can there is a video tutorial specific to this, so I'm not even going to bother going into that, but it has a very unique way, I will say this, it has a very intelligent way of focusing on, you know, in, in the example I, I use Germany, so what you would do is grab SMTP providers from Germany, throw them in as your search criteria, because obviously Gmail, or you know, in Canada we've got a provider called Rogers, somebody from Germany is not going to have a at Rogers SMTP provider. So it makes sense. And it, it's a very logical conclusion that if somebody has a German SMTP provider and it's you're scraping from Facebook, there's a pretty direct relevance that that person is German and it's a Facebook user. So enough said. I think the, the video is justified it, itself here. We've got well, the next 20 seconds we'll have 10,000 emails. So, thank you for watching this. I hope this video tutorial, uh, to, uh, I hope this video overview did uh, did some justice in in kind of visually displaying how how powerful this program can be. Thank you.